never quits. Abraham Lincoln never quits. Born into poverty, Lincoln was faced with defeat throughout his life. He lost eight elections, twice failed in business and suffered a nervous breakdown. He could have quit many times, but he didn't and because he didn't quit, he became one of the greatest presidents in the United States history. Here is a sketch of Lincoln's road to the White House. 1816 his family was forced out of their home. He had to work to support them. 1818 his mother died. 1831 failed in business. 1832 ran for state legislature, lost. 1832 also lost his job, wanted to go to law school but couldn't get in. 1833 borrowed some money from a friend to begin a business and by the end of the year he was bankrupt. He spent the next 17 years of his life paying off this debt. 1834 ran for state legislature again, one. 1835 was engaged to be married, sweetheart died and his heart was broken. 1836 had a total nervous breakdown and was in bed for six months. 1838 sought to become Speaker of the State Legislature, defeated. 1840 sought to become Elector, defeated. 1843 ran for Congress, lost. 1846 ran for Congress again, this time he won, went to Washington and did a good job. 1848 ran for re-election to Congress, lost. 1849 sought the job of land officer in his home state, rejected. 1854 ran for Senate of the United States, lost. 1856 sought the vice presidential nomination at his party's national convention, get less than 100 votes. 1858 ran for U.S. Senate again, again he lost. 1860 elected President of the United States. Abraham Lincoln, February 12, 1809 to April 15, 1865, was an American statesman and lawyer who served as the 16th President of the United States, 1861 to 1865. Lincoln led the nation through its greatest moral, constitutional, and political crisis in the American Civil War. He preserved the Union, abolished slavery, strengthened the federal government, and modernized the U.S. economy. Lincoln was born in poverty in a log cabin and was raised on the frontier primarily in Indiana. He was self-educated and became a lawyer, Whig Party leader, Illinois state legislator, and U.S. congressman from Illinois. In 1849, he returned to his law practice but became vexed by the opening of additional lands to slavery as a result of the Kansas-Nebraska Act. He re-entered politics in 1854, becoming a leader in the new Republican Party, and he reached a national audience in the 1858 debates against Stephen Douglas. Lincoln ran 1860, sweeping the North in victory. Pro-slavery elements in the South equated his success with the North's rejection of their right to practice slavery, and southern states began seceding from the Union to secure its independence. The new Confederate states fired on Fort Sumter, a U.S. fort in the South, and Lincoln called up forces to suppress the rebellion and restore the Union. As the leader of moderate Republicans, Lincoln had to navigate a contentious array of factions with friends and opponents on both sides. War Democrats rallied the large faction of the former opponents into his moderate camp. But they were countered by radical Republicans, who demanded harsh treatment of the Southern traitors. Anti-war Democrats, called Copperheads, despised him. And irreconcilable pro-Confederate elements plotted his assassination and manage the factions by exploiting their mutual enmity, by carefully distributing political patronage, and by appealing to the U.S. people. His Gettysburg Address became a historic clarion call for nationalism, republicanism, equal rights, liberty, and democracy. Lincoln scrutinized the strategy and tactics in the war effort, including the selection of generals and the naval blockade of the South's trade. He suspended habeas corpus, 
and he averted British intervention by diffusing the Trent Affair. He engineered the end to slavery with his Emancipation Proclamation and his order that the army protect escaped slaves. He also encouraged border states to outlaw slavery and promoted the 13th Amendment to the United States Constitution, which outlawed slavery across the country. Lincoln managed his own success campaign. He sought to reconcile the war-torn nation by exonerating the secessionists. On April 14, 1865, just days after the war's end at Appomattox, he was enjoying a night at the theater with his wife Mary when he was assassinated by Confederate sympathizer John Wilkes Booth. His marriage had produced four sons, two of whom preceded him in death. With severe emotional impact upon him and Mary, Lincoln is remembered as the United States Matter Hero, and he is consistently ranked as the greatest U.S. president in history.